Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. And we're, we're the, the Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we make Poor Man Pappy. Let's see how it comes out. Welcome back everybody. Before we get started, thank you so much for stopping by, checking us out. Please, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to this channel, like this video, drop some comments down below if you've made Poor Man Pappy or some other cool concoction with, uh, with your bourbon as well. Matt, we've been looking forward to doing this for a while. Yeah, so today we're drinking a little bit of 107 while we're making this thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but this is going to be great. So what you do is you do 60% 107, 40% Weller 12, and we're going to put it into a um, oak barrel and age it for, we're going to try one, maybe two weeks. We're going to see how it is at one. So what I did is, this is a brand new barrel. Um, all you have to do when you get it is you have... You take the uh, the top here, put this in, and just tap it down. It's sort of um, what's it? It's like flange, so it'll end up you know really sticking in. Fill this thing with hot water. Then you take the bung, squeeze the bung into it, and then just put it like this, and let it sit there for four or five days. That's gonna swell the barrel up. So now we've done all that, Pat. Now we're ready to make our mixture. Absolutely. So the very first thing we are gonna do, Pat, is measure out 450 of the Weller 107. And once we end up doing this, it should give us a proof somewhere about just over a hundred proof uh, for a bourbon. And this is gonna be closest to sort of like a Pappy 15. Get every last drop of that 107, right? You got to. And it's almost perfect too. We're a smidge under, but we'll make it work. Yeah, we got a brand new bottle right behind you too. It's all right. It's it's literally sitting right at the at the line, just right. a smidge below it. So let's get the funnel let's too. Do that. So what I like to do is, if you put the funnel all the way in, it doesn't really come out good. So make sure that your thing is closed on the side, and now just pour it in. I hold it a little bit up so the air can come on out of it. All right, Pat. Now we're gonna do 300 of the Weller 12. All right, let's pour that one on in. Science and stuff. Yeah. All right, I'm pretty excited about this. So now what we're gonna do is put the bung in and through the magic of time, we will jump back at you guys in about one or two weeks once this thing is done aging and we try it out and we'll see how it comes out. All right, everybody, so it's been 10 days and we are going to now, um, put this into our bottle. We do have a little filter that goes inside of here just to help get any of those other wood pieces that were sort of left uh, in here that didn't come out when we, you know, flushed it out with water first. First thing we're gonna do is take the bung hole out. I'll put it right up here and just open her up. See if there's any little bit hanging out. Last little bit. All right, so here is our bottle of poor man pack. All right, everybody. So this thing's been aged. It's been a couple weeks in that barrel. Uh, this color is looking pretty, actually great. It's a great sort of uh, golden brown. Um, we're super excited to try this thing out, right, Pat? Let's get into it. All right, here we go. I got high expectations, Matt. I do too. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, I'm getting a little bit of pear. 
right off the bat with vanilla. Yep. A little bit of a cherry. I'm not getting the cherry. Definitely getting the vanilla. Definitely getting a pear. Cinnamon. Hint of cinnamon. Hmm. This is good. I almost think I might like it better than the old rip that we've had. I kind of think I do too. It, it is. It, it's. I don't know. I gotta go for a second sip here. So, I'm getting some cinnamon. I'm getting some pear. I'm getting a lot more fruitier notes than I thought I would get. Yeah. Um, cinnamon, pear, vanilla. I I feel like there's a little bit of a like a stone fruit in there. Um, I definitely I haven't gotten a lot of fruit to it. I've got a lot of cinnamon out of it. A lot of vanilla. Hint of oak. It's very smooth. No burn. It's very creamy. Very creamy. Yeah. That vanilla is so sweet. It's almost like a vanilla frosting. It's a very sweet, sweet vanilla. And it hangs around for a while too. It does. I'm I'm pretty impressed with the way this bottle ended up coming out. I'm loving it. And we just need the real thing to compare it to. But I definitely like this better than the old rip, I think. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely pretty excited about this one. I would say if you guys have some 107, some Weller 12, try this thing out. It, it comes out great. And you can age it longer if you want to go longer because you can end up aging it to sort of like a Pappy 23. You know what I'm saying? You could age it less if you want. Some people just mix it into a bottle and let it just sort of, you know, mingle together for a week or two. Um, I think by putting it in the barrel, you get a little bit more oak out of it and, and a little bit more flavor behind it. But this thing is freaking... It's got more flavor than I expected Dude, to I'm tapping this thing out because this is great. A lot more flavor than I really expected. This is great. I will be making another uh, another thing. We still have some Weller 12, so I will be making another one. Definitely. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching us. Everybody, have a good day.